This has become a daily routine for this pediatric nurse, as she constantly has to sweep the water every morning to stop it from going into her room. The nurse narrated her ordeal on a condition of anonymity. She says she walks with babies on a daily basis and she fears contracting an infection from the sewerage that might be passed on to her patients. It was in the weekend on Friday. The water was too much. I took the whole day I, I was off, so I've been um, shipping the water out the whole day. In the night, I got so tired that around 12 o'clock I decided to go to sleep. When I just turned around, I just started sneezing and coughing in the night. When I just switch off on my light, my room is full of water, so I have to start sweeping the water the whole night. And that water had some things that I don't know, just black things, water which is already used, the sewage. The cause of the leak is supposedly a broken pipe in the building, which the hospital management have been trying to get fixed for some time now. But according to the nurses, the situation has just deteriorated. They even went to the chief of the nurses' home to request for other rooms. But their request was denied, they claim. The next day I went and report. I even called the one who is in charge. But the only thing he answered me, he said, who is going to pay those people? So he's more concerned about the money than the life of people. The chief of the nurses' home, Mukura Timotius, when contacted, said he was not aware of the situation as he is on study leave and will only be back in the office by tomorrow. He referred the news on one to the medical superintendent of the Cathedral State Hospital, George Judman, whose mobile went unanswered.